Okay, this is going to be a little demo of my duplex hotspot. Um, I've got a little duplex hotspot here, and I've got a display that's displaying the data. Top line is slot one, the bottom line is slot two, and I've redirected the gateway to send talk group 91 out slot one so it shows up on the top line normally the top line would be empty because everything's coming out slot two and i'm going to have the dashboard uh, showing some activity there and i've got two radios to demonstrate that the data will be coming in on the right radio from TAC group uh, excuse me from uh, uh, talk group 91 and uh, the left radio will be um, TAC 310 when I transmit. So I'll try to transmit while somebody else is talking, and you'll hear it go out and come back. Um, both will be on the radios at the same time, but on different radios. Hopefully this will work. We'll see. I'll give it a shot. Uh, there's a little bit of something going on here, so maybe somebody will talk. He was only going to talk once. Okay, I'm going to try issuing a call on TAC 310 while this conversation is taking place. I talk to you loud and clear, Rich. My name is This Andy is KC7VE on TAC 310. Demonstrating a duplex operation. Uh, looks like it's working quite well this time. Uh, sorry, Top 310, for interrupting anything. Uh, trying to get this test done. I patrol the water here so, on a civilian shipyard with military. TG 91 was on the right, and my TAC 310 call came in on the left. And my, you can see hand. that in the activity yeah, down there when, here, so. with the KC-7BE nice uh, uh, showed up on the activity. And then it also displayed here properly uh, on the bottom line while the top it. line was taking uh, place. So anyway, that's the duplex operation. And um, one of the good features of this, in addition to monitoring and talking at the same time, is if Talk Group 91 is really busy and you can't get a key in to switch talk groups, Duplex will allow you to do that. Hope you like the video.